because I didn't get the Harrier like I expected, but um, hopefully you can zoom in on the back of the camera here. I don't know if that's working. I'll edit it out if it's not, but I did get some kind of juvenile hawk. Not exactly sure what it is, but the mobile blind worked again. You just ride up, stick your camera out the window, and take a shot. Well guys, that's the way it works sometimes. You have this thought in your mind, you're on the way home, you want to photograph that very specific bird and it just doesn't work out. Uh, but I got lucky. I was able to photograph this hawk standing on a fence post and uh, he was pretty cooperative so I was quite thankful for that. Um, I have no idea what kind of hawk this is. I think it's a red tail. I'm going to have to get in the book and check it out myself. Uh, but I'm sure somebody real smart out there is going to let me know and they're going to put it in the comments. Let's go ahead and put a quick edit on this one. I'm going to go to an 8x10 crop. Uh, I'm going to go vertical on it. And basic Instagram style post right there. I'm done. Uh, I'm going to put one of my presets over here on the left. Baseline warm. I'll go to my radial filter. I'm going to drag it over about right there. It looks pretty good. I'm going to take that white balance out of it raise up the exposure just a hair done boom there's your Instagram post not too bad huh guys pretty quick so that's what tonight's tutorial is about I'm gonna keep it pretty short and pretty sweet it's about those uh, user presets that you see over here on the left hand side so once you've done all your slider work say you find an image that you really you know you get into the weeds with you get all your sliders right you know it's good Instead of uh, just moving on to the next image, go up there and hit that Develop button. Go to New Preset. Uh, title that as whatever you want. I'll call this Hawk, uh, Hawk Love. That sounds good. You like that? I don't know why I said that. And I'll create it. And look what happens. It shows up over here in the User Presets. So now all I have to do is I go to the next picture. I hit Hawk Love. I'll highlight over it right there. Boom. It takes a second for it to load because not all computers are as fast as I want. I'll take the radial filter and bring it over the top of it here. And that's it. I'm done. You know, and I can keep on doing that for each and every picture. Now, here's another quick trip. Quick, boy, did you hear what I said there? Can't even talk right. It's a quick trick. Say that three times fast. Anyway, if I like this image, I like the crop, I like the radial filter, I can right click on it and go to settings. I can go to copy settings. I can pick whatever I want on here. I definitely want those local adjustments with the radial filter. I can, uh, I want the crop. I'll do copy. And uh, let's pick, uh, let's say this one right here. And let's, oh, it's a little out of focus, but that's okay. Go to settings. I'll go ahead and paste that setting. And um, there you go. I can adjust the crop a little bit if I want to make it fit a little better. Uh, but it's that quick. I can just keep going through. Heck, say if I want to grab three of them. I want to right click on those. Whoops. Right click on that to go to develop settings and go to paste the settings. And then look at that. All three of those will have those exact same setting on it. So hopefully you see that the workflow doesn't have to be a big pain in the ass. You can, uh, you know, there's cool little tricks that you can do to speed this thing up. And it's just a, it's just getting in there and finding those buttons. So once again, get your preset right. Go to develop preset, do a new preset. Uh, that's the easy part. Uh, once you like your preset, if you want to put that on several pictures, you right click settings, copy settings, uh, pick what you want, and then pick your image and go to settings and paste it. It's that simple, guys. Once again, I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit that subscribe button down at the bottom. Uh, make sure you like if, if that's of course if you like it, which, you know, what's there not to like? It's me. I'm a fun guy. Um, hit that like button, and if you can, share it. Share it with your friends if you want to put it out there on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is. Um, I'd appreciate it more than anything. You guys are awesome. Have yourself a great night. And if you're not following me on Instagram, it's by you underscore Josh. Hope to see you over there. Thanks again. Bye-bye.